Good morning, boys and girls, and welcome to Virtual Craft Day with Miss Kelly. And today's craft is a three-dimensional tulip picture with a little bee. You'll have a little bee sticker in your kit. So in your kit, you will have this blue paper, which represents the sky. You will have two leaves on a piece of green paper, green piece of paper, a stem. So also in your kit, you have this long piece of paper with the tulip heads of the flower. Um, you will notice that there are two pieces of paper stapled together because you need six of these to make one tulip. So the reason that I stapled them together like this is so that they're easier to cut out. You can cut out two at a time to save yourself some time. So, and you will need glue. I did not supply you with glue. I figure most people do have glue. Okay, so the well, first thing we're going to do is just simply cut out our tulip heads. And as I said, if they're together like this, it makes it so much easier to cut out. And try to cut out before the black line. That way, when you put things together, you don't see that black line. So I'm going around like so. We've had some beautiful weather and because we have such beautiful weather, this is why I have decided to do something spring because spring is just right around the corner. So as you see, there's your first two pieces and then you continue on. Okay, so now you're left with your six pieces of the tulip bulb. So now what you want to do well, if you see any black pieces and you don't like the black edging, just, you know, just go ahead back and cut them out. All right, so now what you're going to do is just simply fold these in half. Line them up so that they're lined nicely. Like that. And then fold them in half. So you're going to have one part of the tulip fold it in half. You're going to continue on with all of your pieces. Just simply fold them in half. Make sure that you line them up so that they're straight. And so he doesn't stay having that stapled piece, having those stapled pieces together make this craft so much easier to cut out all those pieces. Okay, so just do them all because you have six parts you need to Fold all six pieces in half. Okay. In half. All right, so now you're left with six pieces folded in half. Now what you're going to do is take one piece and you're going to glue another piece to it like, like that. You line them up so that they match you're going to glue these two pieces together. So, go to glue, put a liberal amount of glue on one side. You can certainly put it on the other side if you'd like, the other side of the other tulip. Now what you're going to do, you wanna make sure that they're lined up so that the openings are facing forward. You don't wanna do it backwards because then your tulip will not look right. Okay, so now we have one, two pieces together. You want to continue on doing the same thing with all the remaining pieces that you have left to make that one tulip. And again, double check to make sure that you have the opening facing you. You can always go back and make sure that everything is glued together correctly after it's all completed. Okay, so again, those two pieces together, so now you're left with this, it's looking like this. Same thing again, you have two remaining pieces left if you're doing it along with me. Just make sure you don't glue the wrong side, but if you do glue the wrong side, just wipe it off, flip it over, and make your corrections. Okay, so there's that one. Now I'm left with the last piece, same thing again. It's your last and final piece of your tulip. I would not suggest gluing it on your blue paper like I am because now I have glue everywhere on my glue paper. All right, so there we go. We're just gonna turn this around. If you do do that, it's not the end of the world. Just flip over your paper. Okay, just 
just make sure you don't flip it over on your kitchen table and, and make your mom mad at you. So put something underneath when you're going away. All right, so now you have, you had your, you started out with six of your tulips, you put them together, and this is your three-dimensional tulip. Now what you want to do is, there's your flat piece in the back, there's your front. Now you wanna put glue on the back flat pieces of your tulip head, the head of the tulip. Like I'm doing, see the flat pieces. You can always go back and add more. Now you don't wanna put it way up there, but you wanna put it kind of like a quarter of the way down on your paper like this. That's the only thing you're going to glue down on this, boys and girls, is just that part right there. Because when you open these up like this, with the ones that aren't stuck together, you end up with that three-dimensional tulip. I think it looks so pretty. You could do this with a lot of different flowers if you do research on it. Okay, so now what you wanna do is cut out your green leaves. Okay, so now you have your green leaves and you have this long piece of green paper. So now what you wanna do is just, you have enough room underneath this tulip to go ahead and slide this in there. Okay, if your piece of stem is really long, you can glue it first and then cut off the remaining parts at the edge of the paper. So now what you wanna do is just glue that stem slide it underneath the tulip. If there's any left, I'm going to cut it off. Okay, so now you have your stem and your tulip. Now you're going to take your leaves and glue them on. Now, you only want to go up to about here, and I'll tell you why in a minute. So glue up so that you have about an inch at the top that doesn't have any glue on it. All right, so put some glue on your leaf. Decide where you'd like to add it to your tulip. Okay, and that piece that's left up here at the top. So you're just going to take your fingernails so it curls like this. Now you have your other one, same thing again. Leave about an inch at the top that you don't put any glue on it. where you want to put your leaf and then just take your finger and kind of curl it at the top if you can't do it with your finger you can always take a, a pencil all right so now you have this but then you have this cute little bee right here this little bee sticker you may have one you may have two we were starting to run out so some of you may have one some of you may have two I have one all right you just want to take your little bee sticker off of its plastic piece of paper backing. And you're left with your little bee. Find a good place to put it up around the bulb. I'm, oh, I'm going to make it so that mine is coming out of the bulb, like so. And that's your completed project. But let's talk about this bee for a minute. Bees are pollinators, but bees aren't the only thing that are pollinators. And that's a really long word, but you're gonna learn a lot about this as you as you go into school. Pollinator, pollinators. Now let's talk about pollinators. Now pollinators are bees, but there's also bats, butterflies, birds, and beetles, and other small mammals can also pollinate. So what this, what is pollination? Um, pollination is, um, well, what they do, what these bats and birds, and in our case on our paper, our bees and butterfly beetles and so forth, um, they maintain our ecosystem and they produce our natural resource to help produce our natural resources, air, sunlight, soil, water, and other things too, by helping these plants reproduce. Pollinators travel, and you'll see this, you'll see bees do this, you'll see butterflies do this. They go from plant to plant carrying the pollen on their little bodies. And they make contact with the plants that allows the transfer of genetic materials that's really crucial to the reproductive system of most flowering plants. Bottom line is, we don't wanna kill bees. We don't wanna kill these 
these. I know that we're afraid of bees. We, you know, we could get stung. Bees are not gonna bother you unless you bother them or if they're defending their hive. Um, but they carry all that. And if you look at a bee or bumblebee especially up close, you'll see little particles on their legs and on their bodies. It's furry. It, it, it's able to let them carry it from plant to plant, which provides all the fruits and vegetables that we have, boys and girls. The bees are some of the most important little creatures on, on the face of the earth. Without them, we, could, we would not have food. So it's really important to understand, and there's a shortage of bees, so there's, it's very important to not kill them. I know that you think that they're pests and you're afraid of them, and the sting does hurt. I've been stung many times. Um, if you see bees, just stay away from them. You know, unfortunately, we can't always stay away from them. We do, at some point in our life, get stung. Some people are allergic to them as well, um, but don't kill them. Don't kill bees, don't kill butterflies, don't kill these little creatures because they are a very, very important part of our ecosystem, which gives us our food and so on and so on. So remember, pollinators are very important to us and bees are big pollinators. Okay, great, I hope you enjoyed this craft today and I wanna thank you for joining me and have a wonderful day because it's gonna get cold again. So if it's nice today, get out there and enjoy it and we'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.